Hello everyone, it's Tyler Seidel, Business Development Manager for the Apple Leisure Group, covering Apple Vacations, SunJet Vacations, Travel Impressions, Blue Sky Tours, Southwest Vacations, and United Vacations. I would like to introduce you to my T3 campaign, which I put together for 2020, Tyler's Thursday Tips, but I will be referring to it as T3. I wanted to launch a new fun way of sharing information with you and came up with this. Now, we're already off to a rough start as I wanted to do live video along with screen share, but after trying all week and using several different applications, I gave up. But if I do uh, have the opportunity to do some video sharing, um, some Facebook Lives, um, somewhere where you can see me where I don't have content to necessarily present on, I will definitely be doing that. I think it's more important for you to be able to have more of a show and tell and see the content rather than you looking at my face for a couple minutes. So this T3 campaign is going to be a series of short video modules that I post every Thursday afternoon highlighting a particular topic. So I will post these every week unless I am on vacation or on the road traveling and I can't get around to it. So we should be able to build up quite a pretty big library of these T3 modules by the end of the year. But let me know what you think. I mean, this could be a complete disaster, but I really hope you enjoy it. Please share your comments below. Either way, let me know. Or if there's anything that you would like to see me do uh, as part of this T3 series, let me know. So today's topic that I want to cover is going to be on payment requests. This topic actually came up in my Facebook group page earlier in the week. So I figured, hey, it's there. Let's start off with talk about that as our first T3. So earlier today, I went ahead and I created a booking for myself in VAX. I use FunJet as the supplier. I have an awesome package here going to Breathless Riviera Cancun. We have a $4,800 package here. It's, I just booked it. There's no money on this yet. So let's talk about payment requests. Payment requests can be used to collect deposit from your clients. It can be used to collect the final payment amount. It can be used to collect payment installments along the way. So once you create a booking with any one of our brands, you will see this payment request option here at the top. Simply click on that. It's going to open up a email dialog box pretty much. In here, you will put where the payment request link is going to. You put your email in here. It should auto-populate from your VAX username. You see my old username in there from Travel Impressions. You can put some additional information in the subject line. There is a pre-populated box here that we put together, but you, can, you have the availability to go here and type over anything that's in here and modify the message. So if I wasn't sending this to myself, I wanted to put the client's name, whatever the case may be. You can modify this message and you can add to it. The only thing you don't want to do is mess with where it says payment link because that is where the embedded link is going to go. You also have the option of modifying the closing if you want to add some more information there. Pretty much once we have all of our information on the payment request email, we hit preview. It's going to just let us know that by sending this email to your customers, you are accepting the responsibility for the payments they make as you have made them yourself. Other than that, what it's going to do, it's going to input the payment link here once it gets generated to them, and you go ahead and email it off to them. And it's as simple as that. When your clients get the booking, they're not going to be able to see commission or any details like that. It'll be the same thing as you sending them an itinerary um, from VAX. Um, a sales email. It has all that same content in there. It'll take them directly to the payment screen. The only thing I want to let you know is the payment link is active for 24 hours. So if I send this to them now and they do not process payment within 24 hours, that payment link will expire. And at that point, you either need to you know, give them a call and get their credit card and you apply that manually, or you would need to generate a new payment link and send that out to your clients. So I know a lot of you are aware of this payment link, but I know some of you are not available or aware of this payment link in VAX. So this is a really helpful tool. Um, check it out. It is completely secure. It can make your lives easier. You don't have to sit in there and put in um, 10 different payment credit cards if that's the case. Um, you can send these links off to your client. It really is a, a huge benefit and a key feature in VAX. 
So that is my T3 for this Thursday afternoon. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will talk to you next week on my next T3 installment. Let me know what you think in the comments, and everybody have a great rest of your week. Thank you.